Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading chapter 21 from Anshin, the story of a butterfly by Serena Now. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Chapter 21 Mona was still sitting on the bench. She had not gone to bed, nor had she slept. Matt was in the kitchen, preparing breakfast. Rainer was pacing the room, while impatiently speaking on the phone. He was shouting at the policeman on the other end of the line. He looks at his phone as if it has bitten him. Idiot, he shouted at his phone. He just put the phone down in my ear. Useless son of. Mind your language. There are kids in the house. Mona cut his tirade short. A knock on the door. They all looked at each other. Then they all jumped up simultaneously and raced to the door. Oh, it is you, they said, disappointed. Have you heard anything yet? Brad inquired, hopeful. No, nothing. Are you sure that there is no place where Anshin might have gone? Rainer asked, hopeful. No, sir, I'm sorry. I wrecked my brain. Brad said. I was thinking about it the whole night, he continued. It is all my fault, Brad ranted. Come now. It is not your fault, Matt reassured Brad. It is not anyone's fault. Sometimes in life, bad things happen. We need to learn to look past the bad and see the good. What good can possibly come of this? Anjan is missing. If only could tell her how beautiful she looked, Brad said. Brad saw Anjan in front of his eyes how beautiful she looked to him, then straightens up determination washing across his face. I'm going to look for her, he said as he leaves the room. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for chapter 22. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book.